And hello there, girls and boys, fabulous girls and boys. Welcome to the third segment of the Fab Life. And right now, my topic is dream in in motion, and also the label uh, Kayana Refined. And right now, I am going to interview Kyler herself, uh, the uh, the brain behind the. Uh, Kayana Refine, oh my goodness. I'm so excited that you're here. I'm so excited too, thank you for having me. Yeah, like I'm a vet place here, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, yeah. so you designed this? Yes, I designed wearing? my jacket and my top I'm wearing. Wow, that's so amazing. Thank wow, you. wow. So tell me something about yourself. Well, um, kind of like how I started was, I started designing when I was four okay. by uh, sketching. Yeah. And um, when I was little, I used to watch a whole bunch of Project Runway, and I used yeah. to watch, uh, I think, a show called Fashion Star, like okay. Bratz, like those were oh, my, yeah. Yeah. yeah, those were all my um, fashion type yeah. of inspiration. Yes, yes. Um, uh, the other reason why I started was uh, when I was little, we were going through a lot. Um, you know, I grew up in a single parent home. Yeah. Uh, I had to be with my sister a lot. We yeah. kind of, uh, <clears throat> we kind of really. Mm -hmm started working on fashion together yes, yes. and a lot of times fashion for me was more of an escape to yes, kind of get yes. away from any negative feelings or anything mm -hmm, that I was having mm -hmm. and um, a lot of times just like through years I just accumulated nothing but like uh, sketchbooks of just my emotion really. Yeah. So I, like, I was just drawing whatever would come to my mind and depending on how I was feeling. Wow. So even like now a lot of my collections and lines go based off of those um, those emotions and what I was going through. And I was able to create a collection called Broken Glass, yeah. which is one of my, um, it's kind of like my one of my favorite collections where I kind of want to compare people and glass together, where, you know, when you start out like glass, you're just, you're stainless, you're perfect. Like kids, you know, we're pure, we're everything, we're happy. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, sometimes we can get shattered by something, whether yes. it's divorce or like anything, maybe, you know, broken missing home. parent. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I wanted to show that that doesn't need to be something negative or it doesn't need to be just a scar yeah. on you. And instead of hiding it, yes. instead of like, you know, listening to help or getting help, you can turn that into power, something that drives you through your day and, you know, and generally helps you. Yes. So that's what I wanted to create, Broken Glass, and through all my collections leading up to that. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so <laughs> amazing. Thank you. Yeah, so that, that broken glass thing is like a recurring theme mm -hmm. in, in all your uh, collections. Yeah, a lot of my collections, they're, one of my favorite art styles is abstract art. Yes. And uh, I like abstract art mainly because for me, I think you can take so many different shapes or so many different things and make yes. just something simple, whether it's yes. you know a star, you can take so many different like uh, shapes and yes. different things and just make the same this shape. Just make the same shape. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You know I love Picasso. Yeah. Now that we're talking about abstract art, I mean mm -hmm. his art just fascinates me. I know that yeah. when you look at it initially, it seems like it doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. But the way he placed those pieces together, you know, even if, if they're so, um, what do you call this? They're not attached to yeah. each other. They're broken pieces, but it kind of makes sense. Yeah, it really yes. does. And it's brokenness. It mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, and like that's the way I like to think of people is because not all the time are we. We might seem like we're put together, but on the inside, yeah. it's like some shapes are not like you know matching together some yes. things. But it's like it still creates who we are. So that's yeah. what I want to show. That is so amazing. That mm -hmm. now I spoke to your your. Wife. <laughs> yeah. I do want to be rude. <laughs> um, earlier, so I, I, I spoke to your talented sister, yes. Ayana. So how, how are you going to uh, collaborate with, with Ayana? I know that she does all this animation, mm -hmm. cartoon, you know, and I'm, I'm so amazed. And then you design clothing. Mm -hmm. So how is that going to work in the grand scheme of things? Well, actually, when, when we were growing up, something that uh, really impacted us was anime. Yes. And, like, yeah, she is more of, like, an anime type of artist. Yes. So, it's, like, when it comes to, like, a lot of the anime art, 
some of those, uh, a lot of their outfits are very different from every, yeah. you know, from what we have today. Yes. And a lot of times, since she's always in that, she get also because she's more like focused on like art, and she can she has like this different sense to take whatever is simple and like turn it to something different. Also because of the anime that she watches. Yes. I like to use that too. We kind of match together both of our um, our visions on uh, art and fashion. So it's like with her, she likes to see different structure, different. Uh, just different ways to wear things, yes. and like I like to implement that into my collections because I I think that's a, an amazing gift that she has, and it can be used for so many different ways. It's already used for paper and you know books and stories and everything. I'm like, you know, everyone uses clothing every day, so like I wanted that to be implemented. Oh so, wow, yeah. that that is really amazing. Like, yeah, like what I I said a while ago, since I I love her animation, her yeah. work. I think uh, one of one of my uh, you know suggestions yeah. is that she could create the print yes. of of the fabric and then you design the clo the clothing yeah and maybe you know we can do something like it could be the print of a very simple jacket or even pants yeah you know because pants by itself like it it's so boring it's and it's it really very is. basic like they're just pants yeah and plus you know when it comes to production you can't really put a lot of cuts in, in details yeah. because that's going to be a production nightmare mm -hmm. but the print is the thing that's going to take it to a whole nother yeah. level yeah so, like that i mean print art that's definitely yeah a print thing. art I mean, yeah yeah i would definitely use it for something like that oh my gosh yeah everyone loves wearing things with prints especially yes. if it's be different yeah. i know i love print so yeah. like that would be yeah, yeah that's definitely so I, and I really love your your designs <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and um, I know that um, one of the models in in your uh, that was wearing uh, yeah. your design was Denise and yes I she love is her. the daughter of a good friend of ours Sheila yes and oh my gosh I just she's an amazing model shout out to you Denise yeah <laughs> shout out to you Denise I hope yes. that you're watching and also Sheila, the mom, the proud mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I love Denise. She's always been. She's always been a uh, muse for me. Yeah. And I'm like, I think she just wears the clothing so well. It just fits her. I'm like, I love her. I think she just had a baby recently, yes, she right? Did. Yeah, oh my, oh my goodness! So congratulations Congrats. on the little toddler. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the toddler. That's the cat. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Nala. Yeah, Nala. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about Kayana Refine. Yes. That's going to be. I, 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 my vision for Kayana Refine is that I see it as a huge label, you know, in, in New York, in Paris, Milan, yes. London, LA, San Francisco, you know, in the big uh, fashion capitals. And it, it's going to be really amazing. Yes. You know, what, you. you know what I dream? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> My dream is for us girls to yeah. be able to go to Harajuku in, in Japan. Yes. so Because Harajuku is like this fashion festival, mm -hmm. this festival, and they battle against each other with yeah. style and fashion. Oh, not not so not amazing. not with violence, but with fashion. Yes, almost like a dance battle. You don't yeah, actually like a like dance fight battle. Yeah, dance. but yeah. like with with fashion. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna be really amazing, amazing. Yes. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I could tell you, it's gonna be a long process. But even if it's going to be a long, tedious process, mm -hmm. you you guys could have a lot of fun. Yeah, like my mom always yeah. told me that, especially if you keep your eye on the prize or really love what yeah. you want, like no matter how long it is, as long yeah. as it's fun, it's, it's, it's always yeah. going to be great. Yeah, the production it, itself should be fun when yes. you're creating an outfit, you're creating an, um, the print, the, the artwork, yes. or choosing fabrics and this and that. The whole process should be fun. Yes. Because your audience, your your market, your your customer is mm -hmm. gonna see that. Yeah. It's gonna be reflected. 
you know, on, on the clothes. And yeah, that's, not only that, like the whatever visions or images we yeah, have in our head is finally going to be going to be out. Yeah. yeah. And and that's what I noticed too. Since I'm a huge, you know, I'm I'm such a dork uh, <laughs> when it comes to to the Marvel universe and yes. DC and, and all that. So I love watching all these you know fantastical science fiction yeah. superheroes I, so. I, I love marvel like yeah movies. like my oh my got gosh us, our whole family into watching nothing but marvel and yeah everything. oh my god! i gosh. live to see nothing but that place. yeah that major yeah. major inspiration right yes. there and did you notice that the behind the scenes they're really having fun doing it yes and they're they're having fun and they're all talented actors and artists who really mm -hmm. pour out their heart and soul into yes. this. I think and that that's the fun part to watch is yes. that they're they're so uh, I love to see actors and actresses get so um, passionate and caught up with their character. Yes. So much that sometimes even outside of filming it just becomes them. I think yes. my favorite part is also like, you know, when it comes to like the outfits or things like that, they're always so excited to see it and so yeah. excited to see how it moves and things like that. Black so I think that's Panther cool. was yes. fluid out of the water. It I was mean, amazing. I was like those, uh, the Grace Jones inspired mm -hmm. women. Wakanda forever. Wakanda. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. They, those women really knew how to accessorize. Yes, they did. <laughs> Accessories, that's the best yeah, part. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remembered what RuPaul said, I have the ability to accessorize. Yes, it's a skill, <laughs> yeah, honestly. It's a skill. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I'm so excited about your label, the, the brand that's going to, and, it, and it's going to be like that. Yes, I'm excited, you I've know? been working with you too. Like, oh that's yes, oh my part. gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the jet engine behind yeah. the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be so amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see now that all our, um, our God-given gifts and, and abilities mm -hmm. are going to come together yes. into a fruition yeah, and I we're like going to, to create something really out of this world yes i yeah. love to think of it as like a puzzle and you know how yeah. puzzle pieces, they just fit together pieces of that's... pieces of a puzzle and yet and yet broken and disconnected just like a picasso painting yes <laughs> how about that yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. yes no, we're not doing Dr. Phil over here. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. I think we should do a show together or something. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Shout out to anything that's funny out there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And uh, hello to all our televiewers. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, you have some friends there too. Maybe you should, yep. you know. Hello, all my friends. And Ashna, what's up? Yeah, yeah, there you go. She's big star. Yep, also hi, Alia. How's yeah. it going? Yes. <laughs> Alia? Yeah. I, yeah. Actually, yeah. I just went to a sleepover just yesterday, uh -huh. or the day before. Yeah, four-day weekend, everything. It was great. So. Oh my God! She's actually going to be one of my models too. And she's she's twelve, oh, and she's wow. almost like five eleven, five ten. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Gotta work it, girl. Work yep. it. <laughs> work it. Own it. Conquer it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I bet she looks like a glamazon in the stiletto heels. Yes, like she towers over. She towers. Yeah, her yeah. and her brother Hakeem. So. Oh, oh wow. wow! Yeah, I I remember the first time that I saw Naomi Campbell in person, my oh, jaw just dropped. Her? Yeah, and I couldn't say anything, of course, because oh. I was working in the store. Yeah, but, but she oh. blew my mind away because one of the customers um, bought no was about to buy a pair of, of shoes of Azadine Alaya, and she modeled for Alaya in yeah. Paris. And she's and the you know black feathers all over the black boots, mm -hmm. and then she's like she approaches the customer. Yeah. Naomi herself sells the shoe to the customer, and she's like, uh, "You must buy those shoes, and don't forget to put it in a box and store it in a cool place." And then she turns around, <laughs> and the customer starts screaming, "Oh my gosh, Naomi Campbell just sold me a shoe! <laughs> and I'm buying it!" I would, I would do the same thing. Like if Naomi Campbell came up to me, I'd be like. Hello, queen. First of all, three thousand okay. dollar shoes. Oh. The customer bought it like hook, line, and sinker, just because Naomi Campbell 
Wow. Sold it to her. I don't have $3,000, but well, if I did, oh. Naomi didn't even know that she was selling it to her. I mean, it's, it's see that, the power of persuasion yes. and the power of a brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to turn you into. I yes. want to turn Kayala Refined into a brand. brand. Yes. And that there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the uh, third segment of the Fab Life. And we will be back with some more in our fourth and last segment. So don't go away. <laughs>